I believe in me. I believe in me. I believe in you. I believe in you. Stand strong. You are powerful. Stand strong. You are inspiring. We are fighters. We are ambitious. We are extraordinary. We are conquerors. Simply, Simply Straight, straight talk, talk, our, our voices, voices will, will be, be heard. heard. This is Simply Straight Talk. Yeah. Tune in now, you don't want to miss out. Real conversation, plenty motivation. Uh -huh. Keep you thinking and still entertaining. Yeah, I know that you'll enjoy the Mido's free. Your voice is your choice. Hosted by Reggie B, but you already know. And you gotta check them out and how we roll. Hey, ain't nothing off the table. Give it to you straight. Changing your mindset, talking past mistakes. You ain't gotta wait, time to take off. This is Simply Straight Talk. I'm Melissa, and this is the Simply Straight Talk podcast, where we engage in solution-based conversations with tips on how to overcome and move past the challenges and struggles we face in life. So join in, and let's show the world you got what it takes. It's showtime. Let's hop on this train of motivation. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk podcast. This is your man, Reggie. Listen, today... I want to say thank you once again. Always got to say thank you to everybody that tunes in and listen, even the haters, even the one that's trying to find something just to just to be a negative person and come at somebody. Thank you, too. <laughs> listen, man, you got to thank your haters. But anyway, check it out, man. Today, I want to ask you a question. And the question is basically the topic of today's show. Who are you doing it for? That's the topic of today's show. Who are you doing it for? The things you do in life, the things you want to achieve in life, who are you doing it for? Too often do we make too often do we make decisions saying that we want to do this. We want to start a business. We want to lose weight. We want to find a new job. We want to make new money, make more money or make better money, whatever it is. You want to make additional money, funds, however you want to get it. You want to improve your finances. You want to improve your life, your mental health. Who are you doing it for? And oftentimes people say, for me. But truthfully, it's not always for you. Now, you may include yourself in the equation because maybe you're feeling like I'm independent or I don't want to acknowledge that I'm doing it for somebody else. But oftentimes, the true foundation that people are doing something for is for other people, whether it's to improve your personal life, your weight, your finances, your business, whatever it is you're trying to improve, are you trying to do it based on the fact that you are expecting something from someone else if you are successful in your achievement or improving whatever you want to improve on in your life? If you want to make a difference in your life, who are you trying to prove it to? Who are you doing it for? Because we can easily get caught up in situations to where we want to be in a relationship. Maybe we're not happy with our looks. We're not happy with our nose, our eyes. You know, we feel like our stomach is too big. Our legs are too big. So we start looking at sometimes general measures to get ourselves where we want to, even when it comes to our finances or going back to school. And sometimes we start looking at extreme measures to accomplish the things we want maybe doing things that's a little bit illegal a little bit sketchy uh maybe we feel like well surgery's the only way to do it and we're, we're trying to find a quick and fast way to achieve what we want to achieve but it's not really for you because when you're trying to actually do something so you can impress somebody else or if you're doing it for somebody else often the feeling of success will be short-lived because if that person that you're trying to do it for walks out of your life or changes their mind about the situation or whatever the circumstances they are, if they change, you can ultimately go back to where you started from. We have to make a decision that when we do things in life, we got to figure out the real reason we're doing it for ourselves. And we have to actually question ourselves and determine if we are doing this for somebody else. If you were dating someone and you break up with them 
and that person you see the new person that they're dating and that person is slimmer or whatever do you now start to feel like i need to get slimmer just to prove a point or if you would have stuck with me too often do we look at things we lost in life and use that as a measure for what we want to achieve in life because sometimes those are the things that we we don't really need to be working on. Those are the things we shouldn't really be focusing on. A lot of times people will focus on other people. You see people in jobs do it all the time. They see somebody else who's achieving a level of success. And they will either create a war with that person or they will try to do things to undermine that person to prove themselves. So who are you doing it for? Are you trying to do something and you're trying to disprove somebody else? What are you trying to do in your life? What is the real reason? What made you decide that you want to do it? What's the reason you decided you want to go from this job, just this job to that job? What's the reason you decided that you don't want to date this person? You want to date that person. Why are you changing cultures? Have you reflected on yourself? Is that supposed to prove something by saying, okay, I no longer date this type of man or woman because now I date this type of man or woman. But when you decide that you want to publicly blast the previous group, who are you dating for? What's, what's the purpose of the things that you're doing? We have to learn to self-reflect and look at who we are as individuals who we are as a person, why we make the decisions that we make. And yes, oftentimes our personal experiences will affect our thought process in how we see things, how we want to do things, what directions we want to go in life. If we are unable to be honest with ourselves and come to the truth of why we are making the decisions we're making, why we're doing the things that we are doing. That's a problem. It's a flawed way of failure. That's inevitable because the satisfaction is not there, which can cause you to regress in whatever you're trying to do. Or you may be pursuing the wrong thing. As I said earlier, simply because you haven't truly determine why you're making the decisions you're making, why you're pursuing what you're pursuing. Are you really honest about going after the things that you want in life and the things that you do decide that you're going to go after? Is it something that's truly going to be beneficial? Is it something that's truly going to make a difference in your life, in your mental well-being and your thought process? Because it'll definitely show if you healed from the hurt and trials that you have faced in life, the disappointments, or it will show that you're just being childish. How do you deal with that? Can you deal with that? See, these are the things we need to talk about and think about amongst ourselves and with someone who you can call a confidant that you trust to come to a better understanding. Because once you come to the understanding of who you are doing something for, you have a better understanding of you. You have a better understanding of where you can heal and improve in your life, how you can be a better person. You learn to forgive. You know, I see people who really have a childish mentality because they will say that they're good, but they don't, they can be in a work environment and not communicate work. You can be in an environment and not get along with somebody, but can you still communicate work-wise with that person? There are some underlying issues there. And it's the same thing with parents who are co-parenting after a divorce. Yes, you may not agree or like the fact that you're divorced, but can you be bigger and say, you want to say to myself, you know what? I'm doing this for the child. I'm doing this for the children. Have I healed? Why are you doing the things you're doing? If you are going after that father because you're mad at him because y'all are divorced now, 
Are you really going after him because you feel the child needs more? Or are you going after him because you simply want to hurt that man? Because you haven't healed. Are you still harassing that woman based on the fact that you're hurt because she's no longer with you? These are the things that we need to think about. These are the things that we need to consider. Who are you doing the things you're doing for? Who are you doing it for? Who are you doing it for? Because when you understand who you are doing it for, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you then you'll know the real reason why. Why? And that will make all the difference. Hey, I just want to drop some to y'all, man. So I hope y'all enjoying this. Y'all continue to listen to the Simply Straight Talk, man. I'm definitely going to be pumping out regular show. Okay, regular. I'm going to get back to my regular schedule. Been working on some stuff. But hey, y'all be cool. Please tune in. Please share this. And y'all holler at your boy. Peace. That's it for this week's episode of the Simply Straight Talk podcast. Be sure to sign up to our email list at simplystraighttalk.com and follow us in your favorite podcast app so that you don't miss our next episode. Wishing you a wonderful day from the Simply Straight Talk crew.